necessarily have to come alive in the first map. It's ideal if they do, but they've got the ground of dust to an inferno to go on to next. I don't think they're going to be feeling under overwhelmingly pressured going into this one. Just considering they've had a, a, a string of decent results. That was a good opportunity that they could have taken the win yesterday as well. That would have been double upsets here in the fun spot qualifier. Nevertheless, that's a beautiful headshot. Barton taken completely out of context. PRT and Malak both have to sweep back in right now. And the AWP being the primary investment to do the job. Sneaky's just hidden right behind these boxes. Both players head glitching right now. And the Molotov's going to do absolutely nothing. Doesn't flee. Malak with a pair of headshots. As the Glocks start to close in even further, the bomb becomes an extra pressure. Malak just swarms his way on. Almost all four. Barton's right there. And CX such low HP. He's got to get the headshots through right now. He needs to hit a one tap and it's not going to happen. There's the diffuse in. The dream start for Team Genji to play with. And Bentek gets around the back alongside his teammate. Unfortunately for his teammate, it's going to be the end of Bentet. So it's just Kusta fighting from the bottom of the ramp. Luckily enough, this is a decoy for Gen G. Azza has gotten rid of Kusta in the end. So the flank is now secure for 100 Thieves, but they also have to deal with what's on the bomb site, And they haven't been able to do that very well. Gen G will win the pistol in the second half. Oh, yeah, CXZI just wrapping in through Elbow at the perfect moment. Finds himself the quick 3k, and that was the round. So. Gen G get the pistol over the line and now just trail by two. Yeah, another good read from them. Puts them in a fantastic position thanks to that flank. Some pretty sharp shooting from CXZI. You love to see it. Might give him a bit of confidence, get him warmed up for this game here against 100 Thieves. He was doing, you know, okay on the T side, but uh, over here on the CT side, you can't afford to have any light. This one almost looks over with Gen G completely outmaneuvered towards the B side of the map. Bentet needs to close in and it's CX the first to be challenged. Does find both of those frags and there's nobody to punish for C9. They're completely locked towards mid with the bomb a million miles away. And Floppy being the one further pincer now he needs to challenge Bentet. This is not an advantage to his advantageous angle with the m4 especially as he goes for that wide wild peak cx misses a shot in the meantime he's seen i want a barrel down in front of him a double head shot leaves his sonic in a one versus two back to black clutch situations needed as he pushes through those mid smokes right into the waiting arms of automatic there who does fail to connect the shots one more time now reverting to cx who needs the ace he does come in with the goods 16 to 16 we're even stevens once again and it's not coming through zero mistakes from gen g not just in this one but particularly this map really interesting stuff as the a take comes in cx shuts down all of the dreams of c9 they get shut away by the triple kill and some and automatic able to finish a 16-5 to close c9 out of the group state this is maybe a little bit nervous not for long though the nerves have settled the jitters are gone and now a cxci Looks to hold on to it. Pull up the slacks and get to going, CXEI. You're the one rifle that your team has got, and unfortunately, it will be ripped out of your hands momentarily. But he holds on. The grip is iron, and his will is stone cold. CXEI! Oh my god, he's obliterated them! Three kills, four to his name. He spins back around, Malbs, but it's going to be Fang up top. The jaws have clenched in team one. How have they just lost that? CXZI, a will of iron, the grip of iron, and he's stone cold as he stares down the Brazilians and says no more to the trade. Procrats, even though they've dealt with one man here, it's still a three on three, oh. right? It's still even odds in the site, and these are not the fights you want. Zeppa brings the fight to them, but that ends up digging this hole a little deeper. Sixy left in the clutch, and Chanchi's come rotating down. Chaos with both players here, bomb out in the open. Not an easy round for Sixy, but there is a timing where he could look to get this bomb. Oh, Instead, fights through the smoke and deals with John G in heaven. And he gets the bomb. Oh, he's even ready, ready for the re-peak. That is a great round from Sixy. Yeah, good clean up there. I didn't see the guy. I mean, we knew there was a guy in heaven, but goodness gracious. Last round of...
check. Going with the flashbang of Marky right down and into the action themselves. Rugrats have a full rotation in B. Oh, and already pushing. Oil is 60. Ooh. He catches two players. Oh, and a third as well. Still picking up the pace. Still charging into the fray. Oh. Goes 60, and he's on for the ace. John G, is he going to give it over? Yeah. He is. And he has no say in the matter. 60 with a great round. And Three on the board for Rugrats. They give him the defuse because that's what friendship is all about. Have your MVP star. Get it in you. As now there's three on the board and it's all on the back of just one man. I didn't even see anyone, is what his teammates are saying. Like he went so fast into B. Chaos are never ready for that pace. And like, yeah, the, the util is great for Chaos, the smokes, the mollies, but it's super telegraphed and the flash down the ramp comes in. I feel like a little late. If they were down a few seconds earlier, that might have been an easier round for Chaos, but.